கேளுங்கள் அறிவுசார் உலகம் படைப்போம் வழங்குவது முனைவர் ஸ்டெலா மதியழகன் வாட் இஸ் ஜி செவன் ஜி செவன் சப்மிட் ஃபார்ட்டி செவன்த் சப்மிட் அசம்பல்டு அட் லண்டன் வாட் டி டிட் இட் ஃபார் த வேர்ல்டு பிரிட்டிஷ் பிரைம் மினிஸ்டர் போரிஸ் ஜான்சன் எக்ஸ்பெக்டர் எக்ஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் த குரூப் ஆஃப் செவன் டு அக்ரி டு டொனேட் ஒன் பில்லியன் கோவிட் நைன்டீன் வேக்சின் டோசஸ் டு புவர் கண்ட்ரீஸ் டூரிங் இட் சப்மிட் ஸ்டார்டிங் ஆன் லெவன்த் ஜூன் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் அண்ட் ஹெல்ப் இனாக்குலேட் தி வேர்ல்ட் பை தி ஆண்ட் ஆஃப் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ யூஎஸ் பிரசிடென்ட் ஜோ பைடன் வவ் டு சூப்பர் சார்ஜ் தி பேட்டில் அகேன்ஸ் தி கொரோனா வைரஸ் வித் டொனேஷன் ஆஃப் ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் மில்லியன் பிஷர் பிஎஃப்இஎன் ஷார்ட்ஸ் ஜான்சன் சேட் பிரிட்டன் would give at least 100 million surplus vaccines to the poorest nation. Boris Johnson has already called on G7 leaders to commit to vaccinate the entire world by the end of 2022 and the group is expected to pledge 1 billion doses during its 3-day summit that is from 11th June to 13th June 2021 in the English seaside resort of Corbis Bay. If the best G7 leaders can manage is to donate 1 billion vaccines doses, then the submit will have been a failure. Oxfam's health policy manager Anna Marriott said like that. Oxfam also called on G7 leaders to support a waiver on the intellectual property behind the vaccine. In that situation, on 12th uh, June 2022, what Biden said in that summit, G7. The United States plans to push democratic allies on 12th June to publicly call out China for forced labor practices as the group of seven leaders gathered at a summit where they will all also unveil an infrastructure plan meant to compete with Beijing's efforts in the developing world. The provocative proposal is part of President Joe Biden's escalating campaign to get fellow democratic leaders to present a more, un- more unified front to compete economically with China in the centuries ahead. The official said Biden wanted G7 leaders to speak out in a single voice against forced labor practices targeting Uyghur Muslims and other ethnic minorities. Biden hopes the denunciation will be part of the joint communique released at the summit's end, but some European allies have been reluctant to so forcefully split with Beijing. It may not be clear until the three days, that is 13th uh, June 2021. The wealthy nation leaders were all smiles Friday as their host. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson welcomed them to the summit on the fleshy ranked sank of Gorby's Bay in southwest England for their first gathering since 2019. 2020 gathering was cancelled because of COVID-19 and recovery from the pandemic is dominating these 2021 year discussions. With members of the Wealthy Democracy Club expected to commit to sharing at least 1 billion vaccine shots with struggling countries. China also loomed large over the meeting on the crazy coast of Cornwall. Biden's proposed critique of China's labor practice was to be raised as the Allies unveil an infrastructure proposal dubbed Build Back Better for the World.
build back better for the world a name echoing the american president's campaign slogan the group of seven will seek to rival china's multi trillion dollars belt and road initiative on 11th june 2021 by announcing a global infrastructure plan to help developing nations a senior officials in us president joe biden's administration said like that the g7 is trying to find a coherent response to the growing assertiveness of president today we will find the final solutions and what are the resolutions taken by g7 leaders follows next video here Thank you. you must know something about the relationship between china and us uh, for what kind of crises between them describing china as a pacing challenge to the us defense secretary lloyd austin has told american lawmakers that beijing's aggressive behavior in the indo pacific could spark a crisis in the strategically vital region Responding to questions from members of the Senate Armed Services Committee during a congressional hearing on the annual budget of the Pentagon, he stressed on having a direct line of communication between the militaries and also being government officials of the two countries. As we look at some of the aggressive behavior that we have witnessed from China in the Indo-Pacific I am concerned about something that could happen that could spark a crisis Austin told the lawmakers on 10th June 2021 We need the ability to be able to talk with our allies and partners and also with our advisories or potential advisories So I thank there need to be a direct line of communication between the military and also between government officials as well the defense secretary said like that austin described further the us relationship with china currently as one of the one of competition the desire to be the preeminent country on the planet their mind to long term goal is to be that they look to com- compete with us not only military but across a spectrum of activities he said what do you see as doing the military and other sectors in our government is making sure that we remain competitive economically making sure that we continue to develop the best scientist in the world and the most comprehensive research so it is a competition across a broad spectrum of activity said by austin china has urged the us not to treat it as an imaginary enemy china claims almost all the 1.3 million square mile south china sea as its sovereign territory china has been building military bases on artificial islands in the region also claimed by brunei malaysia the philippines taiwan and vietnam china has impeded commercial activity like fishing or mineral exploration by countries like vietnam and the philippines these are all the issues between china and us to talk talk about the indo pacific uh, issues so if the china stop the activities unwantedly in the pacific region means there is no issue between china and us the ag- aggressive policies of china create an imaginary enemy of us so if they want to maintain the relationship cordially china has to think about the nations of 
அண்ட் அதர் வேர்ல்டு